Hi, my name's Hakeem, also known as Mr. Impacts, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about all things where it all started. I'm in my hometown, my home area. This is Ravenscourt Park in Shepherd's Bush. Check it out, yo, I be like Nicky, yes, y'all. Doctor on call, I rock to my name and graffiti on the wall. Got flow like the rappers in Great George. Got weed, I got blunt. My name's Jamal, I pause. Flick that. Um, do I remember the first time I danced? No, I don't remember the first time I danced. It's, I just feel like I've been dancing from my mother's womb kind of thing and just been moving. Um, I do remember though, um, back at my old house, Caffinal Road, um, my brothers and sisters um, dancing to Greg Edwards' Soul Spectrum and me just dancing behind them. I think that's where it all started. What is my best dance track ever? Oh God, Bennett, best dance track ever I have to pass on that it's just too hard <laughs> question there's just too many too many dance tracks like oh my gosh like there's current there's old school <sighs> it's not that current but there's a track called 7-eleven by 20 SYL he's a French DJ amazing uh, old school I, think I still cannot get out of my head when um, it takes two Rob Basin DJ easy rock dropped I mean that summer was just something incredible um, but yeah, there's so many. It depends what mood I'm in, man. It depends what kind of genre. What am I listening to right now? I'm listening to a lot of jazz, a lot of kind of like jazz and kind of like alternative kind of experimental music. I'm really a big fan of Go Go Penguin. They're amazing. Three guys from Manchester. They're doing big things. We're actually trying to create a little kind of piece to that music at the moment. A song called Unspeakable World. Um, but I'm also just a kind of in a Jill Scott mood at the moment. Jill Scott's just amazing. She's, um, she's top gun, man. Top gun. Um, yeah. Best dance performance ever. Uh, one of the best dance performances ever uh, is when I choreographed Pet Shop Boys World Tour in 2006. We did a gig here in London and it was at the Tower of London and um, it was just off the hook. Like, can you imagine setting up a stage in the Tower of London and having a, f a sold out audience? And it was really weird because there was a section at the front, I think it was kind of like the red section where it was like VIP and there was a blue section behind for the general people and all the blue section just rushed the red section. And um, just seeing your work on stage, um, the reaction, um, that alongside um, uh, Radio City Music Hall in New York, um, again, the Pet Shop Boys tour was um, something to behold. What inspired me to get in involved in dance? I guess, having been playing rugby for like the first 22 years of my life and then not doing anything for three years, I felt like I became a bit redundant. Um, I always like to work with people, teamwork, uh, motivate people and be part of something. Um, and I think that gap of three years without doing anything kind of led me to dance works where I saw my first kind of jazz class. And from there, I never really looked back because I felt leading and teaching people and inspiring people and equipping them with the tools for them to be the best they can be was um, really, 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 really kind of catchy for me. And I think that was the start of it all. I think, you know, my advice to anyone is if you focus on something and you believe you can achieve something, you should ne never let anyone steal your dream. You should go for it. But you also have to be realistic of the climate in which you're going in, in terms of dance. Dance is very competitive. Dance is not a multi-million pound business. As much as people will try and make out that dance is glamorous and there's loads of money, it's not a multi-million pound business. So you are competing with thousands and thousands of people. So you've got to put that um, dedication and hard work in to be that person. And you've almost got to go the extra mile from the masses. As they say, observe the masses and do the opposite which allow you to get to where you want to get to. Um, but train, find a teacher that believes in you, find someone that trusts your technique and your sense of ambition and stay very close to them and work with them and just be humble. Is she in camera? Yeah. <laughs> you just went in camera. Thanks for watching. My name's Haki, Mr. Impact. Don't forget to subscribe, stay focused, 
Remember, it might sound cheesy, but it could be you making that change, reaching for your aspirations and becoming the person you want to be in the future. Peace.